Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Ostrov, where our fisherman is heading back out again. He's he's over here just just uh, catching fish. He's ready to head back in, and this one just picked up some fish and brought it off, heading taking it off to the stall over there, which means no, we still have not enough food for sale. So what is happening over there? Can I? That's the f original. No, that's the middle one. I haven't done it from this distance before. That's Marina, right? No, yeah, yep, it is. And she has 0.9. And this close one here is Pedro. So I assume that the women work the market stalls, but it's allowing both. I wonder if that's a change for the last latest update. Or it's just a coincidence that I've only seen women work in these. That's different. Anyway, 0.4 fish. So 0.9 and 0.4. What is enough to qualify, I wonder? Over here, we've got 0.2 waiting. Oh, 0.2 that are being brought in because you get 0.1 for each trip out. Okay, so 10 trips equals one of something. One um, unit, one crate, one whatever. We've got one more boat being ordered. I don't know that I want to... Uh, uh, spend the the labor on it right now. How's the? Can I? Are you it? Yeah, the forestry. We have 123 wood stored. Okay. Well, that's enough. Well, that's what 50 wood per house. I can do everything from right here. I can run the whole city from the shoreline. Uh, house takes 50 wood, so there's two houses worth. The carpentry takes what? Right there, you take 51 wood, so roughly 150. The windmill didn't need to click. That is right here, 150, so 210 cow shed. So we need we need about 300 wood to do all that we want to do. How are the farm's doing? In fact, this time, let's kick the speed up and get through a season. Last time, we spent a lot of time just laying things out and talking. So let's process some of this. You are sown and growing. You are beginning to be sown. You are being sown. It skipped over. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. That's how we did it. We went this way, right? You are... Okay, let's do this way. Where's field six? Boom. Right there. All right. So they are going in order. Four, five, six. Though they did start to sow this one so not necessarily in order we are into may now so i don't know to what extent these are going to complete there is definitely a sense of time involved in each of these bars don't know if each one of these is a month or, or how that works so this is the only one that's truly got a chance of making it hopefully this one too this one's questionable and these are probably no's but we'll find that out when we get there Otherwise, you, hay dryer, uh, all right, there's nothing there that we don't already know. Um, laborers or cowshed workers will mow nearby grass, unless the laborers are busy, but it was a sense of a season, right? No. I clicked on one of these once in a previous playthrough and I got the sense that it wasn't the right season to do this yet. Grass and grass awaiting. So we are kind of starting to do this. You are uh, show path. There we are. There you are, right there. Okay. So you are actually working on it. Now spin around right there. And we're starting to build piles of, of hay or straw, or grass, to uh, to dry on the rack, which will then be stored over here. Okay, so we've seen that, and I've got to turn path back off, don't I? That'll stay on for any and all workers, yeah. So turn off the path. There we go. All right, I wanted to put in one more house. Don't know that it'll get built any time before, say, winter, but it'll be available for the first people moving in the, the next time. You still have enough food for sale. You have got 0.9. You have got 0.9. How much is enough? Let's hire another one. And 
put in fish there. And eventually we're going to put in flour. Is wheat available? I don't see wheat. So flour will be the next possibility. But what does it take to get enough food for sale? Or is this one of the first cases to where I need to start over because a, an update corrected something? And I'm not going to get to take advantage of that update because the game save is older than the update. So I'll go another episode or two. If we still don't see any migration, then it may be time to start over. We'll see. Hopefully by then we'll get some answers, some questions answered about things like the fields. Because you can see right now we've got some, some growth going on. You can see it's, it's this medium colored green right here starting to show up in all of this. It would show up a lot better if uh, if we had plowed. <clears throat> Plowing though, order a plow, requires two adult oxen first and then a carpentry building, which we're building here. So you order the plow from there once you have the oxen, but you don't get the oxen until you've got the cow shed in place. So there's a lot of prerequisites going on. But without those, it would still be nice to get more families in here so that next year there's a lot more laborers and, and workers available. But I'd really like to see somebody move in here. So we're at May. Let's see what happens uh, 1st of June. In fact, let's kick the speed up even higher. This house is right there. He's just about to be done. Nothing says stalled, so we're doing fine there. Waiting for this to change. Do I need to click it again to refresh it? I wonder if it's constantly refreshing. There we are, June. Okay, so no change. Over here, 0 0.4, 0 0.9. So 0 0.9 seems to be the max. I won't go beyond that. Fish is definitely coming in. And there's more stored. We'll have enough to fill three of these. And not enough food for sale. So it must be something here that I don't know about. Well, we'll just continue for a while. We're able to do quite a bit with the amount of people we do have living here. So we'll explore more of the game and, and see what happens. How are we doing here? 213 wood. So wood is happening again. Let's take you down to there. And let's go ahead and kick the firewood up. Let's do something. Well, boy. Yeah, we'll do that. House went in. Here. Okay. Right? I don't know. There's a family in that one. That was it, right? We have a family. We have a family. No housing available. So now we have enough food and we have two more families. Oh. Okay. I wonder if I had not been going at a faster speed if we would have noticed people walking from a distance and eventually made their way in. Or I don't know which direction they were coming from. Maybe here. That I don't know. That's interesting. So it's working. I just didn't get to see it happen. So in that case, we've got one more house being queued up and we'll have plenty of labor for, for uh, future projects. This is changing its color of green. This is too. A lot more crops showing up now, or they're getting bigger. Good. You know, in Banished, the vanilla field is plowed, and you can see it really well, but then uh, Colonial Charter added the transparent field so that you could just grow right over the top of the turf. And I've never liked those because you couldn't see the contrast of the field, and that's kind of what's going on here. You can see the grass through, but I guess as we get... Built, uh, grow, uh, more growth in here we'll get to see much more of a contrast but yeah it does look better on plowed field but we don't have the ability to do that yet so we've got a skipped right there all right i'm talking about that house let's find a place for it and that was going to go out in this area somewhere that's the cow shed and i don't know how that works so i don't want to lose this area we do have this area available uh, the entrance is right there so i have to come off the back of this somehow is that even possible? Wait a minute, something changed when I did that. No, it just got rid of the orange, but it's still uneven terrain. So let's swing you back into there. There's no place in here that it will build. No. Okay. Do we start a community up in here? 
which means a, a well and and a market and all of that too. Uh, probably so, but I think it's going to be needed. We're going to be expanding and growing, assuming that the map continues to work and I don't need to restart anytime soon. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll make this a road. In fact, we're going to be clearing out, I'll get my finger on my WSD again, we're clearing this out. We are. So let's plan on a road something like this. Do we do that? We could, and then queued up as one of the last houses. All right, so let's get, uh, let me move up and down here. Let's get parallel. How best to do that? Probably from there and T? Nope. Wish there was a way to do smaller increments. Uh, doesn't tell me down there, but to like hold control and do it or something like that, and it would take it even finer. I don't think which game does that. That sounds familiar. Okay, Alt to keep you from snapping. And let's go for... And hold the shift. Something I haven't done yet for houses. There. Oh, that's so much better. There's the corner. Oh, I do want it to snap there, though. So I want there. There we go. If I do that, then I think it's just enough room to do that. All right, I think something's a little uneven in there, but there's three houses. This one is going to be first. That one's going to be second. We have to clear these trees out first. All right, what was that? I want to say another house? Yeah. And instantly moved in. All right, so maybe we're not going to get a sense of migration coming in. Just this, the conditions were satisfied. All right, so food, how are we doing in here now? And how does this function? I haven't spent time sitting here watching. Let's slow it down if somebody walks up to a stall. You can see the fish in the stalls there. So I assume they're going to use their, their money for their wages, pay their rent, and they're going to go and buy some food. But do we actually get to see that happen? Or is it just a, you know, assumed at this point? I could probably sit here for the next 20 minutes and not see it, huh? <laughs> Alright, back to two. Oh, hello. Slow down. What did I miss? Interesting. You know what? We need a windmill. And fast. That's now the highest priority. Carpentry is next. So the windmill will grind it into flour. And we're still in August. We have a chance of having some flour available this year. Very nice. So what do we have there then? Growth did not complete, but we must have hit August, which means we've got to harvest what we've got. I see. So we have no choice here. So half a field of growth. Half of quantity of, of production out of that. Okay. So if that was a 20, we're going to get a 10 out of it. That's, that's going to be my guess there. And it's just sitting in the field. Don't get any sense of storage here. Limit workers. Oh, there's the limit that uh, that I was reading about. Okay, that did that did show up. Good. Okay, so that's there. Ten workers. So eventually we're going to get an awful lot of houses, and we'll have the ability to actually put twenty workers in a in a farm. But one, two, three, four. So this is ten, and we don't have that many in our our uh, village anyway. So no point in worrying about that. But if you don't want everything to come to a grinding halt because everybody is out in the fields. We could say, let's just take you down to, to five. One, two, three, four, five. So two more would be available to get back to work building this. But I don't know that that's truly necessary. Let's go to seven. Let's go to seven. So you're there, and we still have somebody here. And the carpentry... Nobody's there, but he's not queued up right now. Okay, so you are dropping off thatch. I'm going to make a guess that that's all that's needed right there. Uh, lumber, 147, so we've got quite a bit stored now. Thatch is probably going to be running out soon. 
We've got 10, ten thatch available. It's probably time to get somebody working in that again. Three boats are done. Let's say goodbye to you and let's hire you. Though food is doing pretty good, isn't it? 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. Let's just have three fishermen, two fishermen at the moment. And leave that third one to run the thatchery and or cycle into something else. I'm, I would imagine we're going to have an employee in here running the mill, maybe even two. Question is, do the farm workers haul it to the mill or do the mill workers go and get it? Let's zoom in and watch this process. Bending over, picking it up, I guess filling up their arms and then they drop it at the end of the row. Let's see how this how this works. When's the next pile of uh, wheat going to roll up or going to going to show up? Oh, what happened over there? What's going to happen right in here? Oh, there's a little scythe in her hand. You can see that. She finished, dropped off. And dropped off. Okay. Don't get to click on the individual pieces, just the field. And the harvesting is being done. Well, that's an awful lot of wheat coming in for our small little community. So we're going to uh, we're going to survive another year, aren't we? I hope so. <laughs> uh, let's see. So fishing's happening. Wheat is happening. The mill needs to be happening. We have a worker who is right there showing up for work. And let's speed up and watch the building process. Let's watch it from this side. <laughs> Faster than I could get there. Okay, uh, slow down. Let's think about this. We need a worker. Let's get that going. Zoom back out. We had 10. Now we have still 10. So nobody's actually showed up for work there yet. That's done. We're done here. Two workers in there. Don't need the manager there. We have nobody assigned for this one, which we probably could start doing soon. We've had other people show up. We're going to have more show up next year. Let's put one worker in there. And let's go ahead and put back in wood. Um, I don't see a faster way to do this. I'll do 50 just in case we have the opportunity to trade these things. We have somebody working in the thatch, but let's not queue that up just yet. Maybe winter. Though I don't know if they can get reeds in the winter. Is that... Do they die off? Next one. Hay. That's a possibility. Fish. Iron, nails, firewood. Firewood. Now, I can't click. I can't... Up arrow down any of those no nope. so I've just got to click like crazy let's do 100 firewood firewood works great in banish let's see what how well it sells over here what was oh my phone went off telling me somebody tweeted me I was clicking it here and I could hear that going off thinking what there's an alarm what what happened <laughs> oh let's see I'm looking over my other screen I see I've got uh, uh, messages waiting for me over there from comments from other videos. All right, so we've got some things queued up to be brought in in case one of these come to offer us a trade deal. That is my guess that that will happen. I'm not sure if that is a case. If it's not, then eventually we'll be able to afford. We have 90 income. We've already expended 200 so we have a negative 116 balance. So I'm guessing at this point, you're not penalized for the balance. I don't get the sense that the town dies when you go bankrupt. So later, that's probably going to be an issue. Which means we need to hire only the minimal amount of people in order to accomplish that. I'm not sure how that works. Because those you don't hire then won't be able to afford their rent. So yeah, the economy to me still needs a little bit of tweaking. Or I just don't understand it, one or the other. But that's again, sort of things that'll be, that'll be worked on over time. Um, so this is happening. Let's kick the speed back up again. The mill, 
is get my WSD there I am waiting for a worker what's it going to take to get that worker we've got our one worker here we need to get this back up to 20 again ah you're probably waiting for a worker too all right we'll go ahead and do that as well just because I want to see what they do we have lots of fish in we really do let's fire you guys so that we can make sure that there's people to jump into the other buildings I bet you those workers are well there's only one guy there are busy you know harvesting look at her go <laughs> yeah they're just working away so this is the closer field I wonder if it you know a radius out from the farm is what where uh, what's chosen or if it has to do with no our ripeness is there so what is ripe is ripe I see okay you have someone you bring it in wood to store it to do what for that matter let's pause you well, I guess I take you down to to ten, so that we can see how these other ones work. Twenty-five wood is being brought in. A lot of wood is being brought in. So thirty wood is needed to build something. But he's waiting for something to be ordered. The only way that I know to order, we can order a plow. What other buildings order something else? Do you guys order furniture? No. Um, this orders a boat from here. This doesn't order anything. You are the trading post. You, you store things. What's left? The smithy. Resource supply. Worker by cart, worker by hands. I don't really know how this works. Or what is trying to tell me here? Worker by cart. You're the smithy. We probably should get that going again. How are our nails? We've been building for quite a while. Nails, we had a thousand, we're down to five hundred. Yep. Through the winter we need to get our nail supply back up again. Um, you still don't have a worker. But you do. Interesting. So maybe there is something I don't know. Click to cancel open vacant supply there's a bar here does this only happen in the winter meaning we're going to spend all harvest season harvesting and then we'll spend all winter dealing with it maybe there's a timer that's not being obvious out here um okay let's go to the readme file and cows fishing uh population trade let's go to I miss farming. There's farming. All right. Nutrients. Hire manager on a farm to allow automatic crop rotation or rotate manually. You can order a plow. Uh, only assigned farm workers plow fields. I'm not getting a sense of any instructions dealing with the mill. No, there's no miscellaneous instructions for that. So I don't know how that works. Well kick the speed back up and we'll get into winter before this episode ends and see what changes so what are we waiting for now the cow shed you're over here you're waiting for supplies you had a laborer bringing some stuff over okay so hopefully that gets done this episode we'll get to see how that interacts with everything else too i don't know what the cow shed could order from the carpenter though so what else, because the carpentry shop builds carts, wagons, plows, and simple furniture. Okay, carts, wagons. Let's go over here. Spin around. Can you uh, order a cart? Okay, so we'll order one cart for there. You have your carts in. Pause. What is that noise? Right there. You were building a cart. Speed up again. You get some more wood, and you're going on a break. <laughs> One worker there. Okay. So you're going on a break. Over here, still nobody working there. Thatch. You're up to 11 thatch now. Don't get to see you work. Are you 
You're located in there. Okay. I hear tapping noises. That's the... Uh, you must be in the building doing your thatch thing. That is the... Right here. Boy, when you're zoomed in, you can't rotate very well. There we go. And zoom in. So he is... Back in there tapping on an anvil. You can almost see him. Right there. And he's making nails. Awaiting 10 nails. And we have 2.3 iron... So he brought over three iron, and he's going to slowly eat away at that iron, which means we should only have two iron left in our supply. Well, I'm still counting five because of what he's still got in there, too. Okay. Time has been speeding by. We are quickly starting to harvest more of it. And still... Oh, we have a worker. All right. You're there. Let's show your path. You're just sitting there. Okay, you're going home. <laughs> all right, we'll wait till all of our laborers are not so busy harvesting fields and see what changes there. We do have right there. We do we've got we've got hay drying. So I wonder if we need more hay dryers. I assume that these are all going to get transported to here at some point, but it's those laborers that are doing all the work out over here. That would be doing that work. You are delivering goods to there. So it would have been nice to have had a road through here. That's a long trip around whichever way you go. But we're getting nails dropped off and our, some wood dropped off. So nails, wood, and work. Then we get to this stage, we're going to add clay and wood and nails. And then more work, and then we're going to add thatch. Okay. Right there, anything new over here? No. Anything new over here? Uh, right there, we don't have anything, no progress happening, so I don't know what he is doing, and I still wonder if that is a seasonal thing. So I'm kind of, I'm stalling here, trying to figure out what happens in, well, I guess it'd be in December though, huh? Probably next episode when we get to see that. So we are still working on the cow shed. And our laborers are all pretty busy out over here. That's probably more wheat than we need to deal with right now. Let's go ahead and limit that to five. Even four. Let's go for four. Free up more people to do other things. You guys are... We've got our men working in here now. That is really interesting. I want the women working in there so the men are available for other jobs. So if I were to fire you and rehire, okay, I guess we'll do some selective hiring here. There, there, there. Will that allow more men out to do some of these other jobs? So what's queued up now? Uh, we're good there. We're good there. We're good there. Looks like all the jobs are full now. Okay. But we need someone available for here. And there you are. Okay, good. Get the foundation going in. What was that? The stairs going in. Okay, and the ramps. And now the nails are needed to put all the planks in the floors. Okay, more wood showing up. Good. Though we're going to we're gonna build over our building supplies. Yeah, you guys got to gotta think about that, huh? Well, there must be a trap door. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So, mysteries. Still don't know how the windmill works. Is, would there be any reason to need two people to do the job? There's an unknown. Okay. Next house is going in for probably next year. Auto save. Okay. I'm waiting for a progress bar to move. I guess not. Fish have stopped. Let's go ahead and get somebody. In fact, let's tell you what. Let's do that until the end, until the water freezes over. Let's get as much food in as we can, fish-wise. We're still doing fine here. She's off to get food right there. 0.9. 1.8. We got over 1. Really? It's always locked in at 0.9. What's the difference? 
that's a multiple of 0.9 because we hired another worker. Does that have anything to do with it? And it's no longer showing laborer underneath. <laughs> so many mysteries. <laughs> All right, so we are trying to deal with some of the wheat over here. We're running out of season. But they're actually going to get the majority of this done. I mean, we've got another month and a half to go. I'm impressed. And no workers. Because they all went over to fish. Must be it. Okay. It, it feels like the coloring is changing. It just looks whiter in here. We're into the middle of October. Am I running at... I'm running at two speed. Feels like that bar is slowing down. Um... Oh, that's what it is. The green has gone away. We're starting to die off here. Can you still collect reed? We have 21 reeds. Okay. So you could probably still work on these 21 for the three months that we have snow. I'll leave you in there. Three are in here. And one is fishing. He's heading in to go fishing. And the third one's probably on his rest break. Over here, we are getting close to being done for the uh, the harvesting. We got five fields complete. Does it give me any sense of a quantity in the field? No. Can I add? Oh, slow down. I see the difference. We started the first field in the planting season, so it defaulted to wheat, and that's all there was. Ah, okay. This field has now, it's not going to show me the pop-up. I can see by the size that there's more blue than the others. So hemp would grow the best in this field. Okay, let's think about this. Can I do it all from here? I can. All right, we're on slow speed. This is probably going to finish this episode. So, so this doesn't show me the field. I need to do it from the field. The field itself. This is what's available nutrition-wise here. Let's... So hemp is going to do the best right now. Now these guys didn't get much of a growing season. And yet... Okay, and there's very little actually taken away. 79 and 75. This had a, almost a full growing season. We've got 64 and 57. Okay. I think we're going to have enough wheat to last us for quite some time, assuming that we're not going to lose it when the snow hits because it was supposed to be hauled to somewhere that I don't know about. But I don't know that we need to grow wheat next time other than maybe one field. Let's do this in wheat next time. Wheat can't change. Oh, it's still being operated on. Okay, over here. We'll do this one too. All right. Sowing season is over. Doesn't say that for here. Even though it's sowing, it's still active. Okay. You, fallow. So fallow is a choice there. All right. I'm going to go. Sunflower needs 100% to do well. We don't have 100% anywhere. It needs 69% to do well here. And unfortunately, I can't choose. There's 100% of it here. So we could do a lot of hemp next year. So let's do hemp over here. And over here, still 100%. We could do, let's do two fields of hemp. Uh, these got used the most, so let's follow these two. So we get a good solid wheat crop in the following year. This one needs to be wheat. It was used the least, so it's got the most nutrients for wheat. Wheat requires what? Actually, it doesn't need a lot of anything. Sunflower needs the most. And here we've only got 69%, so it's going to be no... So sunflower's going to have to go into the, uh, the fields that are laying fallow the following year. Okay. So you are going to be what? Let's do potato. Potato can be done when there's very few nutrients at all. Oh, so in that case, 
you are going to be hemp. You are going to be hemp. You are going to be fallow. We don't have to follow anything, actually, because we can potato right up to the end. But there will be a time to where we're going to have to follow something. Or nothing's going to grow there anymore. So let's, let's follow you two. You can be sunflower, and then you can be the other things. Because sunflower only uses mostly the, the red. Well, it's going to use 60% of the green, which means potato can grow in that afterward. Although it's going to use 100% of this, so potato will not grow in that afterward. Yeah, it's quite a jigsaw puzzle here. you got to think about this. This is I like this. So potato just sounds like something that we do want to get into uh, our economy. So hemp, hemp, fallow, fallow, potato, and wheat. Am I missing anything? Sunflowers just got to wait. Yeah, so let's potato you. And as soon as that's done, we'll wheat you. Let's speed up to that point. You have a worker, but still not doing anything with it. Actually, I'm going to record the next episode right after this one. So I don't have to speed through this to get it done. I can just start next time with this. And for that matter, all the rest of the episodes of this particular town are going to be recorded early. So if you're leaving notes and tips for me in the, uh, in the comments, thank you. But I won't be able to make note of it that next episode. I want to get as much of this done as I can before an update comes that breaks the game save or an update comes that gives new features that can't even show up because we're still in the old game save. So I'm going to kind of rush through this town, get them all recorded, and then be ready for a, a fresh new update to the game and new features to show off for the next one. But I, I'm really enjoying this game enough to where I'm going to keep playing this and just extend this, this uh, series out. Probably all within the same series, all the same thumbnails, just add more numbers. But this is this is a lot of fun. This kind of reminds me of the very early days of Banished. That's what it reminds me of. But it's a little more complex than Banished. You, know, you, you gotta you gotta think through puzzles with Banished with, with this one. So I'm enjoying this. So yeah, I'm gonna continue recording this one. But let's call it done for now. We're we're hitting that timer. So it's been Noble Rambler. I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye bye.